Melody. Yeah. Hi. Hi, my name is Melody Boyer, and um, I'm former Davis High School employee. Now work at UC Davis. Um, I've been in Davis since 1972, and I live directly across the street, 528 C Street, um, from the district office. I've lived there for 10 years. Um, I have been uh, very aware of the density and the activity that happens on that street. Uh, just a quick laundry list, just so that people can kind of keep these things in mind. Uh, parking farmers market um, events, Wednesday and Saturdays. Uh, lots and lots of traffic on that street, which has been now exacerbated by the lane changes on 5th Street. So I think that should be something to be um, considered. I ride my bike to work, and so it has become very dangerous to cross C Street um, with the traffic. I could go down B, um, but it's a direct shot for me on C. Um, Central Park events, as we, as you know, there are um, the Rotary Barbecue, various music events, the, the beer tasting that goes on, lots and lots of parking that comes up and down C and B streets. Running events, uh, we have a lot of people that gather over here for the turkey trot and other running events that begin at, at Central Park. There is also the picnic day parking and the whole Earth Festival, which from campus brings tremendous amount of traffic into the downtown area because it's a quick access to walk. It takes maybe five to 10 minutes to walk across Central Park and be on campus. Um, the Davis High School Homecoming Parade is about ready to happen and that is on September 26th and that goes right up and down C Street. Uh, the, um, the, the noise levels uh, would be increased if we had some kind of structure there that had underground parking, which I read in the paper. Uh, so that would add to the ambience or lack of ambience in the neighborhood, which the old neighborhood feel in downtown Old, old North Davis is a very enticing, important thing to bring new people, especially with the Senior Citizen Center. Davis is considered one of the top places to retire in the country. And if anything, as far as I understand totally about the school district wanting and needing to make money, consider an assisted care living facility there or senior housing complex because my the thing that I enjoy the most about downtown is that I can walk everywhere. And if you want to bring older senior citizen members, they'll be, they'll be looking for something like that. And with the access of the senior center there, that would be um, ideal. Um, and that's about it. But I just wanted to give you a laundry list of the kind of things that came to mind for me, being a resident right across the street and looking at that building every single day and watching the activity there. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Kimball? 